my decision to retire from boxing basically stemmed from, from my last fight. My opponent was 10 years younger than I was, and I know 10 years ago I, I would have beat the guy. Leading up to my fight with Gustavo Lemos, and everything went great. You know, I felt good in the gym. I had to fly out to Argentina. Carl was against me, obviously. There's a crisis brewing here suddenly for Selby. I just couldn't get nothing going. I couldn't get out of the way of the shop. My legs wouldn't move the same. But, um, yeah, that's boxing, I suppose. Age catches up to you. And, um, better boxes of me have lost in the past. Is it all slipping away? And I mean all of it now. It's stopped in the fifth round. But he's 35, everybody. This brutal business is going to show. The time when I'm really set in, yeah. I, mean, I keep busy. I got, I basically got a farm. I got six dogs. I got ferrets, cats, chickens, horse. So yeah, I got my hands full. Uh, oh, and the children, they keep me busy too. So this place, Port Ferry Park, it, it started as, as like a playground for me and my brothers, and it ended up at our one of our main training facilities. We'd be running up and down these. They, they call them the Golden Stairs. So we'd run, run up and down, and I'd work it like rounds, like a, like a twelve round fight. Can you manage those today? Easy. And then once I've done that twice, I come back to the bottom, and I'd be about thirty seconds or a minute rest, and then the next one, the next round would be this. When I turned professional, I'd made four appearances in Newport Leisure Centre. No TV, no, no backing, no sponsors. And then from then on, I, I went on the road. I, I did the hard work. I, I could have, I could have boxed in, in Cardiff, made defenses in Cardiff, in front of my home fans. But I think it shows a, a lot more character of a fighter fighting away from home. Up to the next one. My fondest memory in boxing would be when I won the world title. I remember they announced me as a winner. My dad stood on the ring apron and he gave me a hug. And that got to be the first time he hugged me since I was born. <laughs> oh, that was... My plan is now I've retired from boxing. Uh, I, I would like to give back to, to my local community. I'd like to train the youngsters, and hopefully I can bring some boys off the streets and, and turn them into champions like I did myself. Time to get back in the ring? No, no, I'm done, I'm done. No, th there will be no change in my decision. I've always said once I've retired, I've retired. We see a lot of fighters, they, they make comebacks, um, mainly for, for financial reasons. But luckily, I secured my family financially. You know, the last few years, I've sort of been, like, sort of, it sounds stupid, but like, sort of like training myself, ready for retirement, and just live like a normal person. So I think I'm, I'm going to adjust OK. And if I don't, God help me. What about Lexi? Lexi, well, I've, been, I've, I've taught her the difference between a left hook and a fishing hook. Let's put it that way. And I've taught her a few combinations. And we're going to show them what you're made of. Yes or no? Yes, come on, let's go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Here we have it. Put my hands. Lee reached the top of the tree in the featherweight division, and it's that weight that provides the main fight of tomorrow night's bill. Lauren Price may 